expectations are to uh, execute, of course, uh, focus on uh, execution daily. But our long-term goal is to win a championship, and um, we've put together a good club to where I think we can compete for a championship. But before all that, uh, what we talk about on a daily basis is focus on execution, uh, worry about the things that we have control over, and um, the byproduct will be a championship. Uh, this season, you know, I expect big things. We, this is probably the best team in my four years that we've had. We have a very strong senior class. We're all real close. We've all stuck around. We've been together. And I expect nothing less than a championship, no doubt. Um, we just, you know, hopefully, hopefully we can improve each week and then be playing our best baseball at the end of the year. Goal for this year, that's easy. Championship. We want to win an OVC championship. Talked about it for the four years I've been here. And wanting to win one, I want to go to a regional. I want to beat a uh, beat a big time big time team from another conference. Go up there and do some work and show uh, the world what we what we can do. So when you get up there, you get to play on TV, and it's a big celebrity type thing. Well, um, I'm confident because they're performing. So you look at our fall inter squad games, uh, all of our spring work, preseason work. They've been executing, they've been performing, so I have confidence in them, and that's what seniors should do. They should perform, they should execute. Um, they've already set the expectations, they've set the bar, and um, our players are following them, but most importantly, they're, they're executing, and uh, we're getting good performance out of them. Um, you show leadership through your actions is the best way to do it, honestly. I mean, hustling on and off the field, it's, it's as simple as that. Um, coming through in big, crucial situations on the field. Um, uh, standing behind Coach Steen, I know that sometimes we don't always agree or we don't, we're not always in the same mindset, but I know that he knows best. He's our coach and he's leading us. And for us to stand behind him shows the guys that we're, uh, we're more mature. We're uh, just, uh, I, I don't know. That's just mostly through your actions. That's <laughs> We're sick and tired of playing maroon, so it'll be nice to to play some other colors. Our guys um, uh, in practice, it, it is it, it is it's difficult playing uh, playing each other. We've been getting out a lot playing a lot of inter squad, which is which is rare for us uh, this time of year. But we've we've been fortunate with good weather. But our guys are ready to play some other colors. Uh, I think they're chomping at the bit. And um, I'm not worried about that first weekend. I'm worried about the uh, energy level, excitement level in April. But that first weekend, um, that, that's easy. That's easy. Our guys are going to be ready to go. Very excited. Uh, this is, you know, could be my last year playing. I want to go all out, you know. Um, we've been waiting for this day for a long time. Really kind of sick of practicing, ready to play some other, other teams and face some other guys. But, yeah, definitely excited. Thursday can't come soon enough. Wait, can't wait to get on the road. Oh, I'm stoked. I'm pumped. I can't wait. It's like uh, Christmas morning. I mean, um, getting out there on the field the first day, you get butterflies like, like Little League tryouts, you know? It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely ready to take on a starter's role. I was all over the place last year and just went in when they told me to, whatever. But, you know, I started all summer for my summer team, had a pretty good summer, and I've had a pretty good fall and spring so far, I think, and definitely want to lead this pitching staff as a starter, and, you know, hopefully the guys can, I can set a good example and they can model after me, and definitely uh, expect a, a good year. <laughs> We grew it out, and uh, I don't know. I haven't grown it out since high school. Coach Steen doesn't like it. He lets as long as we keep it out of the face. As long as we keep it out of the face, keep it slick back, looking nice and professional, then uh, then he lets it go. But got to keep it above the ears and keep cleaned up. It's good luck, though. Yeah, I get extra power out of it. Numbers boosted in the weight room. 10 to 15 pounds on everything. It's like Samson. Just looking for Delilah, I guess. 